Tell me, Brett, how do we serve wine? I mean, tell me, Gordon. A good wine served with the swarmily. <laughs> Either swarmily or swarthily. A good wine served swarthily can make any meal <laughs> truly like the inside of a entree since strawberries taped. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, I know this one. <laughs> It's, uh, like the inside of a putrescent strawberry cave dwarf, not uh, cave dwarf hamster dwelling. Strawberry cave dwarf hamster dwelling. Like the inside of a putrescent strawberry cave dwarf hamster dwelling. <laughs> the red wines have a urethral flare that blends with boiled pickled fryer or smoking sole. <laughs> White wines range in flavor from Asian sea monster <laughs> to Richard Simmons. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Why are you keeping it on? Anal cavity of an Asian sea monster carcass <laughs> that's been laying on a Djibouti Guam beach rotting for a month like to Richard Simmons sweaty. That's the first part. Anal cavity. White wines range in flavor from <laughs> anal anal cavity to from of huh <laughs> anal cavity of of a Asian sea monster that's been carcass that's been lying on a Djibouti Guam Djibouti Guam beach. <laughs> Riding for a month, like to Richard Simmons, sweaty. <laughs> the best wines are made by peasants in a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, man, don't throw it away. I can't. No, no, okay. Just... No, that's part of that. Isla Pajaro Loco. Pajaro. The best wines are made by peasants in Isla Pajaro Loco from the juice of ripe wizard fish <laughs> eggs by putting them in vats and squashing them with their delicious, tasty as hairy steak and buffalo ale feet. This is what gives wine <laughs> that speckled roach urethra white aroma. Here are a few rules. <coughs> Number one, always serve white wine in a glass that is leprous, gangrenous. <laughs> Glass that is leprous, gangrenous, covered in sores, and loving it. Number one. <laughs> Always serve white wine in a glass that is leprous, gangrenous, covered in sores, and loving it. <laughs> at Baby Yoga's. Baba Yaga's. <laughs> at Baba Yaga's Chicken Hut. <laughs> Number two, never serve burgundy with fried hot pickled vodka shots or on, on ostracized Russian microwave. <laughs> uh, just on a steaming, on a steaming uh, Russian steam. microwave. 
on a schooner headed to Bangkok. Number two. <laughs> Never serve burgundy with fried hot pickled vodka shots on a steaming Russian microwave on a schooner headed to Bangkok. <laughs> to Bangkok. <laughs> Number three. Wines should always be drunk like a sneezing jalopy engine. Or you're liable to end up with a stomach like that. Look. In the, oh, I remember in this. His, look. In his eyes. In his eyes from the makeshift. As, as, as he. As he. Sunk. Sunk from the makeshift raft. Start over. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> Wines should always be drunk. Like a sneezing jalapeno engine, or you're liable to end up with a stomach like that. Look in his eyes as he sunk from the makeshift raft into the frozen waters below at Wet and Wild Theme Park. This is how to serve wine. <laughs> a good wine served swarthily can make any male truly like the inside of a putrescent strawberry cave dwarf hamster dwelling. <laughs> the red wines have a urethral flavor that blends with boiled pickled fryer or smoking salt. Hey, you don't need to read it again, man. But you're going to be better. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> no. you're getting it right. I think it's pretty good. I'll stop it at 7.03. How about that? How about that? But I can't. I forgot what this next part is.